Welcome back to Teleflora's video tutorials for Dove POS. Now we hope you found the previous sections on order entry to be a useful and easy to understand introduction to your Dove POS system. In part three of this series, we're going to take a look at order actions in Dove POS. Order actions refer to any changes, updates, or modifications to orders you've already put into the system. This includes actions such as saving an order as a draft, returns and refunds, voiding orders, reprinting work tickets, and copying and pasting text. Let's start with how to save an order as a draft. This feature can come in handy for times when you need to walk away from an order that has been partially entered into Dove POS but hasn't been completed. This feature is an incredibly useful tool for planning and can be a lifesaver when interruptions occur during the day. Let's walk through how to save a draft in Teleflora's Dove POS. On the ticket entry window is a button called Save to Draft. At any time during the ticket entry process, you can click this to save the information as it is and come back to it later. To access the items that you've saved to draft, click Draft Items from the Action Required menu. This will open a list of the draft items available. Refunds and returns aren't always fun to deal with, but luckily Dove POS makes entering them into the system fast and easy. Let's take a look at how to process refunds and returns on Telesaurus Dove POS system. To process a refund on a returned item, first pull up the order that was originally placed. To do this, click Lookups in the toolbar and select Order Invoice Lookup. Enter the criteria necessary to pull up the order. This can be the order number, the customer's phone number, or name. After entering the criteria, click Search. In the Results pane, click the order that you want to refund. If you're going to refund the full amount of the order, click Full Refund. This will automatically apply the refund to the order. Verify the information in the Payment Methods section. Once you're satisfied, click Process Refund. The Order Complete window will appear to inform you of the total cash owed to the customer. Going back a bit, if you need to give a partial refund to the customer, click Edit. In the product section, adjust the price of the product. This will make the Create Refund button available. Click Create Refund. The Payment Information window will show the refund due to the customer. The Payment method section displays all payments on the order. The system defaults the method of refund to cash, but if you need to change it to another method, you can do so by clicking the Method of Refund drop-down list. Click Process Refund to complete the refund. We've taken a look at how refunds and returns are handled in Dove POS. But how about transactions that simply need to be voided out? At any time during the ticket entry process, you can void an order. To void an order, click Void on the ticket entry window. A confirmation message will appear after you click Void. It will tell you that the order will be permanently removed. Click OK to confirm the void, or cancel to stop it. If you're anything like me, you're constantly misplacing things. Car keys, the remote control, even a cell phone. Well, what happens when you misplace a work ticket or a super ticket in the shop? No need to worry, as receipts, work tickets, and super tickets can all be reprinted in Teleforos Dove POS. Let's take a look at what you can do next time you find yourself needing a new copy of one of these. To reprint a work ticket, open up the order you want to reprint the work ticket for. Do this by using the Order and Invoice Lookup. Click File from the toolbar and select Print Work Ticket. The work ticket for the order is then sent to your printer. I'm pretty slow when it comes to typing, so any shortcuts I can use when behind the computer are a good thing. You may already be familiar with how to copy and paste text on your computer. But let's review this information using Dove POS just to make sure you're familiar with this time-saving technique. To cut or copy information, highlight the information you want to perform the action on. Once the information is highlighted, hold the Control key and press X to cut. To copy, hold the Control key and press C. To paste the information you've copied, hold the Control key and press V. 
Well, there you have it. We've covered a lot of information in this installment. With any luck, you'll be applying these skills in no time, allowing you to save time while you're preventing a lot of headaches. We hope you enjoyed Teleflora's guide on order actions. Please feel free to review any of these sections if you find yourself forgetting information we covered today. These videos are also a great way to train new staff on how to use Teleflora's Dove POS system. Please join us for part four in this series, where we cover order lookups in Teleflora's Dove POS. Until next time.